Let's discuss a tool that special operations units use to ensure that their adversaries don't learn what they're doing. It's called Operations Security, or OPSEC. OPSEC is one piece of the total security puzzle. We have cyber, info, operations, and physical security. Let's dive into operational security, taking a greater look at the definition of OPSEC critical information, identifying potential adversaries, analyzing how adversaries might learn this critical information, and we will discuss OPSEC practices to prevent adversaries from learning your critical information. Operation security is the process of identifying critical information for mission success, analyzing how adversaries might learn this critical information, and taking the countermeasures required to prevent the adversaries from interpreting or piecing together critical information in time to be useful. Basically, OPSEC protects sensitive or critical information from adversary observation and collection. In the military, critical information is defined as information important to the successful achievement of U.S. objectives and missions. It consists of specific facts about friendly capabilities, activities, limitations, and intentions. In a more practical sense, critical information is what you don't want the bad guys to know. In a special operations example, the military does not want the bad guys to know the location of our friendly forces. They don't want the bad guys to know their strength or number of our friendly forces. They don't want the bad guys to know what kind of equipment the friendly forces have or what type of missions the friendly forces are gonna do. In a corporate example, the business doesn't want their competitors to know the project they're working on. They don't want their competitors to discover their secret recipes, the ingredients, or their chemical makeup. They don't want their competitors to learn about the new technologies that their next product will have. In a family example, a family should not let criminals know how much money is in the bank, their credit card numbers, their bank account numbers, and their debit card pins. The family should not let bad guys know where they live, what they have, and when they're going to be out of town and not safeguarding their property. The family should not let bad guys steal their identity by learning social security numbers or personal information. Adversaries take many forms. To some, they are representatives from a foreign government. Or they could be non-state actors. Perhaps a criminal. Or a computer and network hacker. Or perhaps there's someone within your organization who's planning to sabotage you in the organization. We call these threats insider threats. Adversaries can learn our critical information through countless methods. Let's give a few examples of active and passive approaches adversaries use to learn our critical information. Bad guys patrol social media to see who's an easy target. Adversaries are listening in on your corporate discussion at the cafe just down the street from your headquarters. Dubious characters take advantage of opportunities. Bad guys patrol neighborhoods to see who's an easy target. They call this casing a neighborhood. Dubious characters patrol shopping malls and shopping centers looking for easy targets. Identity thieves will go through your trash to find documents with your personal identifiable information. Expert criminals will hack your computer, or a criminal mastermind will solicit information from you and steal all of your secrets. Let's finish off by discussing ways that you can protect your critical information. Because there are a lot of bad guys, threats, and adversaries out there, I recommend that you sit down with your family, your team, and your business to discuss operational security. The next best thing you can do is to be discreet and to keep your mouth shut. Remember, Loose lips sink ships. Practice effective cybersecurity by having complicated and unique passwords, using a VPN, not opening suspicious emails or hyperlinks, and having a good antivirus. It's important that you don't list every single piece of private information about yourself on your social media. Use the security controls to limit who has access to your private information. Follow information security or InfoSec best practices. I've already made a video about information security, so go check it out. In the military, we use military deception. Military deception can directly support OPSEC by distracting foreign intelligence entities away from your main effort. 
Corporations use deception to throw off their competitors. For example, a car company is building a new prototype sports car. But to deceive their competitors, they publish a lot of misinformation about remodeling one of their standard sedans. Another tool that you can use to prevent the adversaries from learning your critical information is to make or hire a red team. A red team is a person or team that pretends to be your adversary. They look at everything you do and make and publish to see if it can be pieced together to reveal critical information. Red teams expose and exploit vulnerabilities in order to improve the security posture of a unit or organization. Failure to properly implement OPSEC measures can result in serious injury or death to our personnel, damage to weapon systems, equipment and facilities, loss of sensitive technologies, or mission failure. So there you have it. A quick summary of operational security or OPSEC. I hope that you are now more capable of safeguarding your critical information from the people who might want to take advantage of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep learning or to forward this video to a friend who needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?